Okay, everybody, how you all doing? It's the one nobody asked for, the tour of my bathroom. Yeah, as you can see, I've got the toilet over there with the toilet stick thing in the background with the big bad bottle of the misters in the background and a toilet roll dispenser with no toilet people on. Because when I need to go for a poop, then I just go for a poop. And then I use that over there because that's the only thing I've got to actually use right now. Cause I'm out of toilet paper, oh yes siree. And over here we got my sink. Yeah, my lovely sink with two different choices of soap. Yep. And if I really, really need to scrub, then I use that drill pad. Oh yes sir indeed. I got two windows here. Two windows. Two windows. All oh, the fun you have with two windows. Just means when it all gets nice and steamy because of your shower, you open the windows and it lets all the steam out. All nice and easy like that. Just I'm out there by the side is the bin. The bin that I ain't emptied in well, maybe two months because I barely ever use it to be honest. I mean who does use a bin in a bathroom? Pretty much no one. And then there's this you can call him a what's it? Can't figure out what it's for myself, so I don't use it. Got a sneeze suspicion it might be for toilet paper, but then I got that over there and that looks totally different. I can't figure out what that's for. And then we've got the bathtub itself, which has quite a few horrors on board. As you can see, there's some plastic stuff in there I've just left in there. There's an empty bottle of conditioner I've left in there. There's other bottles of conditioner and stuff to help restore your hair, which, take it from me, they don't really work that well. Then what's shaving for them? Well, I've got shaving foam over there. I have no idea. No idea at all. But then we've got this young fellow about what's over here, which is some sort of shower to stand type thing. And then, of course, there's the shower itself. All nice and shiny and chrome and stuff. But if you don't clean it proper, then it gets a bit dirty and disgusting and stuff like that. So does that. But that also has the fact of it can rust. These things are a bit of a con. They just rust. They're not actually designed to be used in a bathroom because they're not designed to get wet. They get wet, they get like that. You see that? That's rust and corrosion right there. And they're real difficult to keep clean. Oh yeah, you can spend time scrubbing at them if you like. And that might actually clean I don't know, I haven't actually bothered trying to uh, scrub it, but there you go. And then there's the actual bathtub itself. You've seen it before, just before, and I ain't bothered to actually show you anything else beyond that, but you'll see that the ends are all curved and stuff like that. That's not really. That's what I can fit yourself in and sort of sit up, okay, at either end. That sounds great. Just one problem. You do that, it means your feet have to go somewhere, and that means you ain't got a flat surface to rest on them. Your knees are just bent up and over. So your knees are always out of the bath water, they get getting cold, your feet don't feel comfortable, your back don't feel comfortable. It's just not that comfortable. It's also a bit of a bugger to clean, if you know what I mean. And look at this, that's the, that's the sink there. And you control it with that thing there, that just means it can close and open and stuff like that. But for some reason there's always some dirt that gets stuck in there. Don't know why, it just does. Ah, and then we have the cupboard where I keep all my stuff and over here. As you can probably guess, that's a towel rail. Okay, silver, silver towel rail. Apparently these ain't that good for generating heat. But let me tell you this, this thing, it heats up quite nice. You know, when you've got it on, it... It's on. You know about it. This room does not feel cold at one bit. No siree. It feels nice and warm. Not really sure how to control the temperature. I think that might be a design flaw. Or I just mean not have actually bothered reading the instruction book. Probably better both. Probably more likely that I just ain't read the instructions. But there you go. One thing I've always been worried about though is this bath mat. Just getting a little closer here. It's all wet still from my last shower because it weren't that long ago. But some reason I'm getting some sort of uh, strange, disgusting little pattern in there that just doesn't seem to want to go away. I've tried all sorts. I've tried cleaning it with detergent and stuff like that, and carpet cleaning stuff. Just doesn't want to know. And look at that. That's even worse. That looks like it's actually kind of going right down into the center of the material and out through the other side. Has it? No, that's probably just dirt. I hope. I gotta say, the guy who did the bathroom for me did a damn good job. If you're wondering what was here before, well, right where we're looking now, 
It was a dividing wall made out of brick, solid brick. Oh yeah. Managed to get rid of that for me. And the bathroom itself has never looked better. Nice little door over there, but as you always get, you should always have a door in the bathroom. Don't want people wandering on you when you're uh, showering <coughs> or pooping. One problem I do have though, see that there? There should be a plastic cover. There was, over that there screw, there was, but it broke because it was cheap, nasty plastic. Nice bathroom sink. Tiny little thing, but it just means that you fill it up with water and you, you know, you get to, you get to conserve water more that way. You just use the dirty water that's already in there to wash your hands with. That feels good to me. Another shot of the bin. Cupboard doors. Flusher. Other cupboard doors. You might be wondering what's behind this. What else would be behind it but boiler? And all other kinds of cleaning stuff. Well, that's that. That's a tour of my bathroom. You ain't asked for it, but you're getting it. I'll see you all later.